Hello everyone, this is part two of Watchtower and the Freemasons. A lot of people do believe that it has been debunked, but here's some more proof for you. One thing that people don't understand is that the Freemasons speak to each other not with words, but with symbols. And like I proved in my Watchtower and the Demonism series, the winged sun disc stood for Satan. If you haven't seen that, it's in... Um, Part 2 of my Watcher and Demonism series. So here is The Awake, where they tell about the winged sun disk, and that it's a, a uh, Egyptian occult symbol. But also, look who else used the winged sun disks. For those who say Russell didn't mean anything by putting the winged sun disc on his books, these are slides from the Bible movie he made. Some started to question the use of the winged sun disk on the book so it was taken off, but instead of putting a nice picture of Jesus or something, it was replaced with another Freemason picture, the oil lamp.
The Mosaic Pavement The black and white checkered floor has existed in temples since the time of ancient Egypt. More than simply decorative, the mosaic pavement bears a profound, obstetric, special meaning. Today it is one of Freemasonry's most recognizable symbols and is the ritualistic floor of all Masonic lodges. The pavement is the area on which initiations occur and is emblematic of human life checkered with good and evil. The mosaic pavement is an old symbol of the order. It is met with in, in earliest rituals of the last century. It is classed among the ornaments of the lodge along with indented tassel and the blazing star. Its party colored stone of black and white have been readily and appropriately interpreted as symbols of the evil and good of human life. In the inner apprentice degree, the mosaic pavement represents the ground floor of King Solomon's temple. In the account of St. Solomon's temple in the Bible, the ground floor is said to be made of pine or fir, depending on the Bible translation. 1 Kings 6, 15 And he built the walls of the house within the boards of cedar, both the floor of the house and the walls of the ceiling, and he colored them on the inside with wood and covered the floor of the house with planks of fir. There is no scripture in the Bible saying the temple had mosaic Masonic pavement, checkered floors. The checkerboard floor upon which the modern Freemasonic Lodge stands is the old tracing board of the Dionysic Greek architects, and while the modern organization is no longer limited to workmen's guild, it still preserves its symbols. When thinking of the idea of duality and the concept of good and evil, black and white, sacred and profane, an image that immediately enters my mind is that of the yin and yang. It goes on to say that while it has numerous interpretations, the yin-yang demonstrates the concept of duality and balance. The synonym balance is an important term because of the position of the checkered carpet, the floor, where the foundation of the erect human body may be found. The mason is taught to avoid irregularity and intemperance and to divide his time equally by the use of 24-inch gauge. These lessons refer to the importance of balance in a mason's life. Therefore, the symbolism of the mosaic pavement could be interpreted to mean that balance provides a foundation of our most Masonic growth. The, ma the mosaic pavement is an aesthetically charged space on which stands the ceremonial altar, the center of most rituals. The ceremony for the apprentice degree symbolically takes place in that location. There are a number of images the Watchtower Society has chosen to use with Masonic pavement.
You see, the Freemasons are not allowed to come out and say that they are Freemasons or they are threatened to be killed. They speak in pictures and and symbols so that the profane and, vi- and vile like us will not know what's going on, and that is exactly what has happened. Music